Hello everyone, welcome to my video and uh, I'm going to start a new series called The Parables of Jesus. In the you know, first series, I talked about uh, my scholarship and uh, various New Testament topics. In that series, I you know, made uh, 13 videos, a lot of them, right? So I talked about uh, many uh, topics uh, such as uh, biblical interpretation, and the body of Christ in Paul's letters, and New Testament themes such as faith and the freedom in the New Testament, and so forth. Also, I include there, you know, uh, the video called uh, How to Interpret the Parables. But in this series, I'm going to include, uh, I'm, I'm planning to include uh, 23 videos except for this uh, series introduction. So 23 video means uh, most of you know, Jesus' parables are covered. And personally, I, I just love Jesus' parables because Jesus' parables uh, you know, give us some idea about the other essence of uh, Jesus' teaching. You know, without knowing Jesus' parables, it may be harder for us to understand what he taught about the kingdom of God. So in this series, you know, in next video, I'm going to start with uh, the source parable, which is very, very important. Very first parable we have to study because the source image is very important in uh, agricultural society, right? So that's probably the first parable Jesus told anyway. So before uh, starting, you know, in my next video, the real parable of a sore parable. But in this video, so I'm going to just give you, you know, kind of expectation. What do you expect from uh, this series? So I'm going to cover uh, 23 uh, parables of Jesus from uh, the Synoptic Gospels. You know, actually, we don't know how many uh, parables were told by Jesus, but we believe most of them are preserved in our Synoptic Gospels. So in this series, I'll cover five uh, parables in Mark. Obviously, uh, many parables in Mark were used by uh, Matt and Luke, but uh, I'll cover uh, five in Mark and uh, three uh, parables which are found in Matthew and Luke. So people may call them uh, Q parables. Okay? Q means a third source, another source that being used in Matthew and Luke. So three Q parables. And eight unique parables in Matthew. So some parables are unique to Matthew. Okay? So eight of them, a lot. Likewise, seven uh, unique parables in Luke. So we're going to study all together 23, which means most parables of Jesus will, will be covered uh, in this series. That's a good thing. So we'll read each parable very closely, okay? thinking about uh, why Jesus told uh, such a parable. So our focus is to explore the possible meaning or implications of each parable in Jesus' context not in later Christian communities context. That's another purpose of study, right? So we may need to distinguish between Jesus' own stories as parables and the later editors, evangelists, uh, editing of the source material. Where are these uh, parables found? Again, we found all of these parables in the Synoptic Gospels and uh, you know the uh, gospel of thomas so i'm not going to include the gospel of thomas in this series that may be a separate you know topic and in mark uh, we will study the sower's parable and see it growing secretly now, this is a unique parable in mark and most are the seed which is found also in Matthew and Luke, but Matthew and Luke somehow changes a little bit. You know, the source seed also, the source a parable is also found, you know, in Matthew and Luke, but Matthew and Luke are changing Mark and source a little bit, okay? So tenants, parable tenants, and budding fig tree. So we will see these five parables in Mark. Uh, most of them are also used by uh, Matthew and Luke. And also we will uh, study uh, Q parables, which are found in Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark. And the parable of Laban, uh, the lost sheep, 
and the entrusted money. Okay, so we'll cover this uh, so-called Q parables. And the uh, Bethian unique parables will study such as wheat and weed, treasure, pearl, vineyard laborers, unmerciful servant, two sons, great banquet, and ten virgins. Great parables will study all of these found only in Matthew. Similarly, some parables found only in Luke. So we say Luke and unique parables such as Good Samaritan, rich farmer or rich fool, father and two sons, known as the prodigal son or the lost son, unjust steward, rich man and Lazarus, unjust judge and widow, and lastly, Pharisee and tax collector. All of these fun uh, uh, parables we will study on its own. Briefly, how to read parables. You know, I have a, a, a separate video actually in, in my playlist. It's called uh, How to Read the Parables or How to Interpret Parables. But here I'm going to just giving you, you know, just briefly, you know, how we can uh, read parables. Okay. I just uh, suggest to you uh, three uh, different kinds of ways. First of all, we have to uh, consider the parable as a Jesus story, right? Jesus made up a story. So Jesus' story, okay, not coming from disciples, nobody else, but Jesus' own story. I mean, he made up a story to communicate with the real people, okay? You know, to communicate the importance of God's radical rule in the here and now. So Jesus made up a story. And also that story is about God's reign, okay? Not about something else, but God's reign or God's rule means his fundamental teaching, Jesus' fundamental teaching, is about God's reign. In other words, God rules the world and people. Not Rome or not any human masters, but God rules the world with justice, peace, and mercy, right? Therefore, people have to change their mind or repent. They have to accept the rule of God. So Jesus urging his audience to see the coming of the God's kingdom, right? In the here and now. So what should they prepare for the kingdom of God? So Jesus parables helping his audience to see something differently about the rule of God. And also Jesus parable can be read as story about life in the world. That's what actually parable means. In Greek, parable is a parabole. Parabole is a compound noun. Para means alongside. Bole means throne, right? Verb. So parabole means a story thrown or alongside of a life. So Marcus Borg, okay, uh, the scholar uh, who says about the parable, in his definition, a parable is a story cast alongside of a life for the sake of leading the audience to see something differently. I love this definition. So we'll see more about, okay? Something different about God's reign. So this is the end of my video. And uh, watch, as I said, watch my other video, uh, you know, titled How to Interpret Parables in the other playlist. Thanks for watching. So I'll be back with the, the very first parable uh, called the source parable. You will love that parable. And there are a lot of things we can apply even in, in, in today's world. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.